Nothing is better than walking around the neighborhood during Halloween. Some households put a little effort, others a lot. However, the most eye-catching home is in Valencia, California. The Schultz house he's hollering as a borderline competition, and Scott Schultz has been doing this for nearly 30 years. Uh, I've started Halloween actually back in about 1995. Um, in our other house, we lived in a different house over in Saugus, a smaller house. It was a much smaller process. It was just lights, a couple of little store-bought props. And then we moved here to Old Orchard One, and I found a group of people uh, called Cal Haunts. Um, they're people that get together once a month, and they build props. And I started with them and started with a very small prop, and have just been expanding ever since. Cal Haunts has been able to share Halloween-related decor and ideas for nearly two decades, and the presence has left a mark on many SoCal residents. If a haunted house has a certain set piece, it is probably from Cal Haunts, and the Schultz house is no different. And while Scott wishes his decorations could be powered by witchcraft, currently he has to work within the means of power limitations. Sometimes things get a little too crazy for his own home. Very careful. The, the wiring is very carefully laid out. It's not always perfect. Sometimes we blow from fuses if we have too much stuff plugged in. So we, we've already tested everything today to make sure that it all comes on. We'll see if it stays on. Hopefully, you know, there's always something that inevitably goes wrong. I've already had a couple of props this year that I had planned to use and we were putting everything together and they didn't work for whatever reason. So I basically pull them out of rotation. I'll fix them after Halloween and hopefully get them back in next year. I think the joy is seeing people come over constantly and tell me how happy they are to see this stuff. And tonight at trick or treating, we'll get a lot of compliments from people about you know, how nice it is and thanking us for doing it. So that's really the joy for me and just seeing people have a good time. For Kenyan News, I'm Matthew Miha.